made it to one of my favorite, like absolutely favorite spots. I'm so excited. The weather's like 70 degrees today. I know the water's still cold, but still. Oh, let me get some lights on back here. There we go. Still, I'm so stoked to be here. We're gonna have some fun today. We're gonna do some paddle boarding. And I have some new stuff I need to show y'all. Right into it. New first thing is uh, this pot. So I got a new pot because the uh, handle on the top of the other one was broken and it kept falling off. So I put this on my Amazon wish list and I want to thank you. I'll put your name down at the bottom, but thank you so much for this. I didn't expect this thing to be like as hardy as it is. Um, I was just going on Amazon and checking it, but this seems like a very sturdy pot. I haven't opened it yet. So let's open it because I'm going to cook in it today. Let's get this thing open. Wow. Check this. It's even got a little diamond logo. But yeah, this handle, this this shouldn't come off of this pot. Wow. It's a very awesome and sturdy pot. Said it doesn't scratch with metal utensils either, so that's a plus. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And it's a, it's a little bigger than my other one, and I appreciate that. That's the first item down. Next item. This. Now this, I gotta figure out how to do it. This is a chest harness for my phone. So when we paddleboard today, I'm gonna be able to use this with my phone, I believe. If it has the attachment, yes, it has the phone attachment. It also has GoPro attachments. So I am so excited. This will keep it in there, strapped in there, I think. But I'm so excited to try this chest harness out. It looks like that. So this is going to be so awesome. I just have to figure out how to do this, how to use this and attach this and all this good stuff. But we'll figure it out. I'm not going to play with this too much yet. I'm just going to... Um, I'll figure this out. I'll, I'll read the uh, instructions and we'll get going because I'm pretty sure that I might have to use one of these attachments. Third thing. Uh, if I can find it. I found it. It had fell in between the door and this thing. But this is a leash for my phone. So like when I'm on the paddle board, it doesn't fall out of my pocket or fall off the paddle board and fall into the water. It'll be tethered to me. So excited about that. I so needed that. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for getting this stuff off my Amazon wish list. Y'all have been amazing and I appreciate it so much. This is helping me get all the gear I need. Thank you once again. So much dust got in here. That's the problems with old vans. I have new seals on there, but dust still seeps through. This bag is broke. The zippers don't work so I put another one on my Amazon wish list and I think someone got that for me thank you so much because this I can't even put it on my back to carry it anywhere
When you think of van life in rural Virginia, do you think of it looking like this? <laughs> I bet a lot of people don't even think, but this is Kerr Lake, Virginia's largest lake, and it offers an amazing escape in the middle of nowhere. Without this lake being here, it would be uh, it would be so boring. <laughs> I've spent many times at this lake, camping on this lake. It's just an amazing place to be. And yes, of course, we're gonna go to that island today. That's one of my favorite islands. It's another one down that way. It's a little further. And uh, we'll just paddle around and see what's out here. Cause I know there's a lot of stuff that washes up on the shore. So we may find something cool, who knows. It's time for me to do one of my favorite things in the world. And that's pump up this dang paddle board with the hand pump. <laughs> I'm going to be wore out after this. But hey, it's a great day. Beautiful day. I want to hit the water. I want to explore. So let's get this done. I won't bring you along for this boring part. It'll be automatically popped up when the camera cuts to it. <laughs> so see you then. So while I sit here and take breaks, pumping up the paddleboard, I'll show you what I learned on the uke. I'm starting to learn how to pick, like, like I'll show you. I'm pretty excited because I want to do like banjo. So I'm learning that on the ukulele. <laughs> So I've been working on the uke. I'm getting it. And yeah, I I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, let's get back to pumping. <laughs> All right, super stoked. Paddle boards pumped up, oops. Um, let's get ready to hit the water and try this new gear out. I'm eager to try the chest harness out so we can definitely get some good angles paddling and yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, hopefully you can hear me. Got it on and uh, we're about to hit to the water. I just have to put a stabilization strap on my phone. This is so exciting. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh oh. Technical difficulties. All right. Let's strap this on. It's perfect. I don't know how loud I got it talk, but we'll figure that out as we go. It's honestly a great day out here. The wind's not blowing too hard. Boats are pretty annoying with the wakes and the way they fly around and not look around and stuff. But, ooh, eagle, I think. Yeah, eagle. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but that's a bald eagle. It was up in the tree over there. It's pretty awesome. 
pretty nice of ball. Oh, two. There's another one flying away. I don't know if you can see it, but that's another ball eagle. Must be a pair. They're lifetime partners. The other island is way over there. Probably looks further in the camera, but it's not too far. All right, so now that we explored the island, let's head over that way. It was some stuff along the banks that I want to check out. All right, the shore is coming up. I choose these rocky spots because that red clay, it'll get gummed up on the bottom of your shoes and it'll definitely paint this paddleboard red. And I don't feel like having to wash this thing like that. So I try to aim for the rocky parts where it's not as red clayish or however you say that. <laughs> and kadoosh. <laughs> We've landed. There's a there's a shoe. A sole of a shoe. Made it up on this random little beach. See, this is the beauty of paddle boarding. Like, check it out. You got your own little beach. You could set up a chair out here if you wanted to. And then you got this area to explore. And it, this is a peninsula. So over that side, there's also water. So, I mean, it's super secluded out here. And the only way to get to it is by boat unless you trek at like this weird spot like way off and i doubt anybody would even do that <laughs> but um yeah this this is amazing tons of little spiders breaking out because of spring but yeah Let's get back on the water and explore some more. So there's the island right there. That's where we gotta go. This is the perks of a shallow water fin. I can go through all of this shallow part with no problems. And it's sloped, so even if I do scrape something, it's not gonna hang. Over there, that piece of land, it looks like an island. But that's probably about a quarter of a mile away. I don't know if I wanna go that far, but that'd be dope. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, let's head back to the van and make some food. Alligator! Ah, uh, it's coming to get me. Oh. <laughs> ah, alligator. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a floating log. We don't have alligators in Virginia. The only thing you have to worry about in the water are like water moccasins, but even then it's like, you don't really see them. So we don't really have too much to worry about in the water. <laughs>
Almost back to the van, baby. Got my phone strapped in. So even if I drop it, it's harnessed in. I can't think everyone who purchased from my, hold on. I can't thank everyone who purchased from my Amazon wish list enough. This gear is amazing and I really needed it. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Oh, we made it back to the van and I was checking to see if I lost anything in the water and apparently the remote shutter off my tripod is gone. <laughs> I don't know if it fell off in the water or not, but yeah. <laughs> well, at least I still got the tripod, right? I can always get a replacement remote shutter. <laughs> But darn it, I thought I made a trip where I didn't lose anything. <laughs> Never mind. I went back to look for it and see if I dropped it at the boat ramp. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> I didn't lose anything this trip. Yes! <laughs> oh, and here's a look at the uh, chest harness on. I can't show you with the phone because I use the phone to record. But this goes around the phone and the strap keeps it from wobbling like that. So it's a pretty cool, sleek setup. Fit perfectly in between the vest. I love it. Now let me take all this stuff off. I'll see you soon, explorers. Gotta sanitize the old hands before cooking. All right. we got the new pan i haven't washed it yet but i mean it looks pretty clean i'm hoping the heat will kill anything that's on it but i'm gonna wipe it with water to make sure there's no like chemicals or anything on it but yeah this pan is so nice and what we're making is i have quinoa a white onion and a green pepper I don't have any protein. I have to go grocery shopping. I'll go get that later and then have protein later. But for this meal, it's just gonna be quinoa, onion, and pepper. I cut myself <laughs> but luckily always carry a first aid kit with you oh man yeah I apparently didn't put enough water in and this happened uh, I don't know if it's savable maybe just put more water in and see what happens that's what happens when you cut yourself and don't pay attention to where you're cooking.
put a little more oil in this. But I think it's it's doable. I keep having to add water to this pot for some reason. Maybe it's because it's a different type of pot. It's a ceramic pot and not like the last one. So that's how the quinoa turned out. I don't think it's too bad because I hate to waste food. So I'm going to eat it anyway. But yeah, saved it. Mmm. This looks so delicious. Now I'm going to add that good old salt and pepper. And we'll be in business. Let's see what this thing is talking about this time. Okay. Okay, so the quinoa is not that burnt. It's actually pretty good. I'm satisfied with myself on this one after almost burning the quinoa. <laughs> ah. Ah. That hit the spot. That's going to put me in a food coma or something, though. <laughs> oh. And now I got to get all this stuff cleaned up. And then, uh... Head on out of here. So I'm going to clean this up. <laughs> if this food coma doesn't get me. All right, explorers, everything is all packed up and ready to roll out. Today was such an amazing day. I'm so happy that I brought you all along and I'm so happy I was able to get out. I'm always, 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 always thankful for moments like that and thankful for you all that tune in and watch my videos. I appreciate that so much y'all just don't know <laughs> but as always explorers if you like this video don't forget to like share subscribe comment help get this out into the youtube algorithm so we can inspire some more people to go out and live their lives um but yeah <laughs> as always peace love and have a great day wherever you are